What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. Let's remember breaks down what's going on with the overall market, what you should be watching for moving forward, what's going on with the bank earnings, how the market's moving so far, what you should be watching for as we open up very, very soon. Before I break anything down about all this information, though, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. The offer ends very soon, so check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. All right, so SPY is up in the pre-market by 0.19% so far. Still testing this resistance at 450.5 so far. But the question is, how are the bank earnings looking this morning? Because the bank earnings are going to be very, very big when it comes to how they're going to affect the markets. And so far, things are looking pretty good. JP Morgan Chase has beaten analyst expectations better than expected bond trading. And overall, it's holding up quite nicely as revenue was up over 34%. It's currently up about 3% this morning at the time I'm recording this. And according to investing.com, we can see the Dow futures edge higher to end the solid week as the bank earnings are in focus. Once again, looking quite nice. We also have this right here, Citigroup. The Q2 2023 earnings, they beat on EPS, they beat on revenue. And so far, things are looking pretty optimistic for the future. Overall, this is causing some more potential upside for many of these different banking stocks and in the finance sector. The Lackrocks Q2 earnings right over here, you will notice that they beat on EPS by a lot, actually. Their revenue is up quite decently. They beat barely on revenue. And besides that, their long-term inflows and et cetera are still looking pretty decent. They're a little bit low right here on the long-term inflows, but besides that, uh, it did beat for the most part, still looking quite nice. And we can see it's actually up quite nicely because of that too. And finally, we have JP Morgan. Once again, it beat on EPS and revenue. City beat on EPS, beat on revenue. Wells Fargo beat on EPS and it beat on revenue too. So lots of beats so far. And guidance has been quite decent too. And the market's still holding up quite nicely uh, as all this data has been dropping. Now we're about an hour away from market open specifically, and so far the market's holding up. So I want to break down some other very important technicals. So for SPY, we're going to be watching this on a level to level basis. Because we got some good earnings, I don't really think the market's going to crash very hard. But just to be safe, we're going to be watching this 450 level as our very important support. On the five minute time frame, watch the 50 EMA very carefully because this has been holding the market up for quite a while, especially like yesterday, we were hovering above it very, very nicely. So yesterday we were holding this. So we're going to be watching the support very nicely. And if it breaks below 450, we're going to be watching 449.5 and then 448 point, I'm sorry, 449 then 448.72. But I'm just saying that just for reference and just to be unbiased. If we push up, we're going to be watching 450.5, 451, followed by 45. If it gets above 451, we're probably going to push all the way up to 452, then potentially 452.6 now, which is where we have some very tight resistance. So from a technical standpoint, we're looking pretty good, but we have to try to break above 450.5 because, yes, the market's holding up, but we haven't really broken this resistance just yet, despite some strong bank earnings. I think there's going to be an attempt to try to break it. We'll see if we can actually break it. If we break it, it's going to be pushing to about 451 uh, or even higher than that, potentially. But let's just see if we can break this heavy resistance around 450.5 so far. That's going to be very dependent on how bullish the market is after the bank earnings. So far, the odds favor us testing this and potentially trying to break out. So there is more potential for upside, but just to be safe, be patient, because like I said before, the bank earnings could cause the market to hold up, but there's no guarantee it's going to break out like insanely hard since we're, we're already up so big. And there tends to be a lot of manipulation on Fridays too by these algorithms designed to trick retail. So I just want to make that clear. For Tesla, it's a little bit down in the pre-market around this 277 support, just above the 50. If it breaks below that, watch 276, 275, and some other levels. However, like I said before on Tesla, it does not matter which way it goes. I'm anticipating some major upside as we approach earnings. I think Tesla is going to start pushing up quite nicely next week. We have some high expectations for many analysts who are expecting Tesla to beat EPS by at least 6%. Once again, looking pretty, pretty good so far. We're going to be witnessing and waiting for what Tesla ends up doing. There's a good chance that Tesla might make an attempt for 280, maybe as soon as today. But just be very patient as we approach that. I just want to note that it tends to pop and then drop by the time we open. That's what typically happens. So we make it a pop before it cools off a bit. And then after that, uh, we will just have to wait and see going into next week. If it dips a bit, that's a buying opportunity. There's going to be more upside for Tesla for next week, in my opinion. Apple's looking weak in the pre-market. If it breaks below its support at, in the 189 zone, it's going to come all the way down to 
188.89 flat. And if that fails, let's watch 188.47, potentially 187.5. It's looking a little bit weak, and this is what's causing SPY to slow down a bit. Apple's not really doing too well. If it breaks 190, we could see it try to push it for 191, but it's not looking that strong. So I don't expect uh, this to, you know, I don't expect SPY to fly insanely hard, like three, four dollars, unless we get Apple moving. Apple is kind of slowing down a bit, and that's causing it to slow down too. Uh, looking at the QQQ, however, this thing is testing 380. If it breaks, and don't forget 382, then 384 become possible. If it breaks below, this support around 379, we're going to be watching 377.21 and then 378 as our supports. I think it's just going to trade a little sideways up in this zone between 379 to 380 for some time. And it's going to pick a direction if it could break it. It may, may make an attempt to break 380, so watch that carefully. The video is up pretty big at 468. If it gets a clean break above 468, we're going to be watching resistance right here around this 470 area. Break that, we're going to be watching 475 right here. These are two zones I had marked. And we are currently have resistance at the pre-market high of 468 to be looking out for. And then the low right here from the pre-market is going to be our support right about here around 461 now. So we're going to be watching these very tight areas carefully. If 461 breaks, watch the 50 and the 200 EMA right over here down at 457. I think the video is going to try to break up to, to 470. If it breaks in, watch 475. That's a real possibility. Uh, to add on to this, Nasdaq's holding up. SPY is looking decent. Coinbase is down just a little bit. It's currently in the 106s. If it breaks, like I said before, if it breaks 107, we're going to be watching 110, 114, 116, and 120 on Coinbase. If it could break out more. If it comes down, watch support at 104, 102.5, 101.4, and then one, uh, sorry, 97.5 below that. Uh, in my opinion, it looks like it's trying to hold up around these levels. I think it's going to make an attempt to break to 110 again. We might see even more upside as FOMO buyers come in. I'm leaning more bullish on it, but just to be safe, be open-minded. And last but not least for Meta, Meta is currently testing 310 again, a little bit down in the pre-market, but if anything, it's going to gap down. So there is an attempt. There may be an attempt to bounce off the support since it bounced off here beforehand. So we're just going to wait and see if Meta could get a nice bounce. This could be from kind of like a double bottom. And if it gets that bounce, we're going to be watching for a nice move above 312.5 to potentially about this 314 and 316 area. But for now, just be very patient. It is looking quite nice. I'm going to be watching for a potential bounce. If it breaks below 310, we're going to be watching for this gap full at 309 to potentially even lower levels like 307. So I'm kind of in the middle with Meta. Uh, it, it's just a, like a make or break at this level. Could it bounce here or is it going to break down? It, it all depends on how it opens. Uh, if it does break down, we're going to be watching 307 potentially, 309, 307. If it bounces off here, then it could start pushing all the way back up into like the 314 plus area. It really depends on this level. Could we bounce or not? Uh, it's bounced here previously, but we do have this unfilled gap below. So it's just a matter of just waiting and seeing. All right, so looking at SPY, is trying to get above 450.6. Now it's trying to push up. Resistance is tight, showing some strength. It's trying to push up, but it is slowing it down as Apple still. Apple is still not looking that strong, so uh, just be very careful. But for now, we're going to be watching. Could this thing get all the way up to 451? I think it's going to try to make an attempt to get there. And then we'll see if it could break that. If it breaks it, it could make our way up closer to 452 than 452.69 afterwards. All right, so the market is looking more bullish than bearish overall as of right now in the pre-market. But don't forget, there's going to be a lot of manipulation on Fridays, and we just had some big bank earnings. So please be prepared, and don't forget that we have a weekend coming. There's nothing wrong with some profit taking, as we may see lots of institutions doing that. So be patient and do what you have to do, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Market to the moon is the long term is very bright, and peace out.